Um, so we, we were actually interested in the question, like, why is everybody a little bit racist or sexist or ageist? So one of the, we all are to, to some extent, right? So traditional tests of these things are, are very simple, but very sneaky. So you show people a bunch of letters, for instance, and you ask them, is this a word? G-U-B, is this a word? You say no. G-U-N, is this a word? You say yes. And it turns out that if you precede those letters by something else, sometimes you can speed this process up. So if I show you the word bullet before I show you G-U-N, you tend to be faster. And so it turns out that most of the time if you show people a black face and then you show them the letters G-U-N, they are faster than if you show them a white face and the letters G-U-N, suggesting that most people associate black people with violence. And this seems to be rather universal. And so that's kind of the effect we wanted to look at. And so where does this come from? And one idea is that this is really the racism that's in your head. You are the racist because your gut reaction is to associate black people with violence or women with weakness or older people with forgetfulness. Um, but another possibility is that what you have in your head is not you, it's the culture around you. And so that what you have is stuff that you picked up from reading, from looking at television, from um, listening to the radio, from watching stuff on the internet. And that's the hypothesis we wanted to look at. So we were trying, we were using the same kind of pairs that other people have used, like black violent, um, old wise, things like that. But we try to see how often do these things actually really co-occur in the real world. So there's one of those corpora, corpora of data where um, people have looked at um, samples of about 10 million words of text that every undergraduate has supposedly read or heard somewhere in their life. This is stuff from textbooks, from newspapers, from novels, etc. And what they do is just painstakingly count how often particular words happen to co-occur in a text and you can attach a number to that um, and what we found was that if you do this um, you can com you can explain all the strange racial stereotypes that you find in these data in terms of people being faster on stereotypes just by how often they co-occur in this particular corpus of data one, one of the things this finding suggests is that um, well, I, I think for, for those of, of, of us who, like me, very often feel guilty about these gut reactions you have and you're not supposed to have, is that those gut reactions are normal and they have very little to do with you, they have more to do with the culture around you. So what's more important is your behavior rather than, than your gut reaction. And I think that's kind of an important message for, for all of us.